Maybe you think, no, life isn't that hard. It's like, no, not only is it that hard, it's even harder than you think. So you're going to be tested, that's for sure. And if you have a sustaining meaning, then there's, there's well, Nietzsche said himself, uh, he who has a why can bear any how. Why would you look yes. in the darkest places? Because in the darkest places, you can find what still shines. Yeah, if it can shine in the darkest places, then you know it's a real light. Yeah. Yes, obviously. Well, first of all, what is meaning? But then why do meaningful things? And the answer is, well, because life is suffering and malevolence. It's ineradicable at its core. It's like, that will take you out. Make no mistake about it. You need something to, you need to be armed with virtue in order to, for that not to turn into hell. You really need that. And it isn't just your hell, that's bad enough. That can be really bad, especially when you're contributing to it. But you know you're the agent that's producing the suffering. If you're really good at it, you're taking out large swaths of your community. That's hell. It's like, and that's real. And no one with any sense and any experience has any doubt that that's real. And then they all can easily think of how, even though it's already bad, you could make it way worse. Everyone knows that. Yeah, nobility of purpose. That's it. You have that, then yeah. you can, then then you have something to set against the suffering and the malevolence. Yeah. And you need, it isn't optional. Yes. That's not optional. Obvious. You cannot live without it. No, meaning without is teaching. not optional, right? Well, that's why it's such a deep instinct. Right. It's an instinct meaning. It's the instinct of life. It's like, well, me, but, and you know, the modern people, it's part of this process of criticism. We've criticized the idea of meaning so much that we don't really believe in it anymore. It's like, well, that's fine. You cannot believe it, but try living without it and see how far you get with that. You need a reason to get out of bed on a terrible day. You know people who can get out of bed on a terrible day. Do you admire them? Yes. Yes, obviously. The more you respect them, the more you also see that they're doing difficult things and doing them well. So what does that mean? Do some difficult things. Do them well. So pick up your goddamn burden and, and walk up the hill. <laughs>